Hello, this is Martin Daubney from Inspire Coaching in Basel. So day three of the 12 days of Christmas. My true love gave to me three calling birds, wasn't it? Anyway, today I'm going to give you coherence communication. So coherent communication is about truly listening to what the other per person is saying. Now, if you happen to be with family, loved ones and friends that you've maybe not seen for a while, and it's all getting a bit much. Or maybe you're in a household where you've been with each other for far too long. A lot of marriages actually survive on that going to work every day. Strange, isn't it? Uh, if you need to communicate and you find that the communication isn't working, then this technique will help. It uh, strengthens your ability to listen to what's really being said and then just assessing it and figuring out what's going on rather than judging it. But in order to do that, we need to get ourselves in a much more calm state, a state of ease. So yeah, it starts again with us preparing and getting ourselves calmed down. So if we think we're going to have a conversation with someone that is going to trigger a response, it's so much better to go into that conversation in a calmer state. So breathe into your heart. Slow that breathing down. Imagine that breath is going in through your heart and slow the rate of breathing down a little that's comfortable for you. A little slower, a little deeper than normal and nice and smooth as that breath flows in through your heart and out through your heart. And do that for a couple of moments, a couple of breaths. And having done that, allow yourself to step into a genuine feeling of ease. So everything, there's nothing really, it's kind of, it's just ease. And when you're there, and if you prepare yourself enough, you can actually start that conversation and step into this, knowing you're in ease as you listen to the other person. And by listening, I do mean all that external noise that's coming from their mouth is going in through your ears. If you're thinking about what to do with the leftover turkey, then that's not going to happen. Listen, truly listen and allow them to speak. And before you say anything, have another breath and maybe ask for clarification. Give a reasoned response, not a reactive response. And that way you start to build better communication with each other and better relationships. So I hope that helps. Give it a go. Put some comments in the comments box below and see what uh, see what comes up for you. I look forward to reading that. But in the meantime, keep well.